What does it mean to snipe your dreams? I think that there's three parts. The first part is arguably the most important, and that is having a direction, having a goal, knowing what you want to do. It's it's almost always, <clears throat> it's not even almost, it's always better to walk one step in the right direction than a thousand in a random direction. Because at least you know your role, you know where you're going, and what you're striving for. And... The thing is, when you know what your goal is, that also makes you want to work more for it, as well. So that's like sort of positive reinforcement. Having direction is really important. <clears throat> you want to think long and hard about your goal, and in addition, your motives behind it. Like, why are you? Why do you want a certain thing? Why do you want to be a doctor? Why do you want to be a lawyer? Are those reasons really yours? Are they? Is it truly important to you? If you become a doctor, do you really want to do it? With motives that aren't yours, you won't put in as much work. You'll put in the minimum. Usually, most of them. You won't really care that much. So you want to have clear motives. You want to have motives that are yours. Motives that will, in essence, motivate or discipline yourself. You want a clear goal, so you can achieve something. If you don't have a clear goal, you don't. You can't achieve anything. You become a jack of all trades. And well, for the most part, in life, it's better to specialize in one thing, completely hone it in for like 10 years, than to spend a year on 10 different things. I guess that only applies, that applies when you don't have anything that you've specialized in. Like once you've already specialized in something, then you can branch out. That's what I think. But when you haven't, you, um, you just don't have the luxury to spread your wings. <clears throat> so think long and hard about the, your goal and why you want it. Next step is planning things out. This is also quite hard. Um, not necessarily throughout the planning, but just starting to plan. I think that's the hardest part for planning. It's just getting your face down and writing it down on a plan. And the thing is, once you have your direction, you need an extremely specific plan, like detailing. Usually, I think that a timeline is good, so like by what times or what years you want to have certain goals done. Alright, that was right. You want to also break down your goal into sub like mini goals and then for those you want to have timelines. And then for the big goal, for the grand goal you want to have a general timeline as well. So say um say I wanna be successful on YouTube. That's the general level goal. Let's break that down into one hundred thousand subscribers all right so the goal the time i will get that i'll approximate it or my goal is to get that within five to ten years no, five to ten years and then from there many goals like a year from now a hundred I mean, because youtube growth is like exponential you can like really I guess the um, expected times will be won't be linear. So a year from now, 100 subscribers. 
two years from now, a thousand, three years from now, um, I don't know, four thousand, four years from now, ten thousand, and so on and so forth, all the way up to a hundred thousand. I mean, it really, really starts picking up after like a couple thousand. And with your plan, you want to think and calculate everything. With my prior example, I would also need to think about what it would take to gain that many subscribers in that amount of time. So what do I need to do? I need to post consistently. I need to post somewhat good content so that people will watch it and like my channel, like my content, and so they'll subscribe. So it's just, don't just do very things randomly and hope that every, everything works out, because only th only people that get success that way is like less than 1%, and you are not part of that. <clears throat> don't kid yourself, you're just not. All right. And the thing is, even if you were, wouldn't you want to increase your success, or at least the time, decrease the time it takes? So, going back to a timeline, a timeline is very useful because it gives you a deadline. It pressures you to finish the work. It makes you find the solutions to problems that you would have put off until tomorrow. It gives you that pressure, and that pressure allows you to change and grow. So you need that pressure. So once you have your extremely detailed plan with all your sub goals, main goal, timeline, and then like the intricate details, then you know what you need to do every single day or every week. And here comes time, like, here comes the part where many people don't stick through, because after this, it's just a matter of time. You just need to keep on working at it, and that's it. You just need to keep on working at it. You have your plan, you have to stick to it for all the way until, um, the last standard timeline, or you revise it if you're having issues and aren't reaching your deadlines. It's all about time after this. There are no overnight successes. Everything happens years in advance because the road to success is time. It is time. I think it was Albert Einstein who said that common interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Compound interest is very powerful. It's very powerful. Overnight successes will take years of work beforehand and tens, if not hundreds, of failures before one success shines and breaks through. But that one success is all you need. It's all you need, just one success, and then everything else can turn. Out of a hundred, you only need one. Just think about that. You only need one. It's like, it's like saying for a test to pass, all you need is one percent. One percent. I mean, surely the odds are going to be much less than one percent, but you give me, you give me a point. You just need one. One can be the start to everything. And as Bruce Lee has said, if you're not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but if you're the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, it's the time investment into one thing. It's the time that compounded into success.